Um, I'm originally from the other side of the country, from Grimsby, but I was living and working in Hull for a while, um, and the yeah. wheels sort of fell off in my life. And uh, I come over here to a to a hospital, um, in part of my recovery, and uh, a friend come over to see me from Hull, um, with a couple of work colleagues, people that I work with, so we arranged to go out for a meal. And this pub just got picked by Catherine, who I work with, and. Uh, he started Blokes United in Hull, ex professional football player, suffering with depression. Uh, had to quit the game um, and was trying to put something back in. And it just seemed a great idea on the back of a social inclusion league, which great support run. So we wanted to um, start one over here. So that's what it was a little bit of meet and greet. And uh, Catherine tweeted a photo, smiley faces in here. Uh, football therapy is the future. And, that's where Mike comes in. <laughs> yeah, so we, we picked up the tweet, so we saw the tweet on social media, um, and at the time we were looking for a community um, organisation to uh, to join us for Christmas dinner, uh, for a free dinner that we are putting on. Um, so I read the tweet that Catherine sent from Blokes United um, and the guy that day, uh, and it just kind of hit home that, you know, this is the group that kind of needs to be. Um, and the rest is history, as they say, I think, isn't it? It's, yeah, uh, yeah. It kind of just um, happened organically, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, like, like Mike said, it was like fate. That's how I really see that. And it still tingles thinking about it because um, the Christmas meal Mike was on about um, for people in social isolation, people in hospital, was um, my Christmas dinner. Um, amongst my family, um, my new family, my new friends, and um, yeah, it was just, just a great day being somewhere. Obviously, still, still being in a hospital, coming out with uh, with a lot of like-minded people. Uh, again, people who haven't got families to go to and stuff like that. So that was really the start of it, going from there, and then we come back to Mike and said, "Can you give us some more money?" <laughs> <laughs> um, not realising um, that that he'd spent an absolute fortune, and again he just uh, yeah. So again, I mean, it was something that from talking to Paul, uh, Paul Davis, um, Paul obviously shared his story with us one day. Um, Paul had this idea of uh, Blokes United, didn't he? Yeah. Um, and developing something new, a new kind of spin-off. Um, so we sat down one day. I had a chat with Paul and it was definitely something that we were um, engaged in right from the off really um, as a spin-off from the Christmas the Christmas meal um, I think the Christmas meal for every member of staff um, it meant a lot to everybody uh, what we did for these guys and what we would do you know um, going forward you know it's something that has created a strong bond I think between us all hasn't it and, yeah, massive. Uh, it's so important. I think mental health, uh, the stigma around it, and I think it's so important to get it out there. Um, and things like this, which you've seen tonight, is just uh, unbelievable, really. Uh, yeah, the thing on the thing on man up and stuff like that. Um, you see, I know you come down to the social inclusion football league, and the big thing about that is, that, do you have to have a, a mental breakdown mm. to actually access something like that? And uh, that thing of being a man, man up, uh, men don't cry, men, men aren't weak and stuff like that. And in this area, there's nothing on the night time, does everything finish at five o'clock? Mm. So this was the idea of um, where it was coming from, really. Somewhat on the night time, but we need a chat group, but how do you just get 10 men in a room who you don't know and go, how are you feeling? I'm fine, me, mate, I've been boxing, I've got three women on the go, because it'd just be like that, wouldn't it? You know, and uh, football, it just breaks that barrier down. Yeah, it just brings it together. Yeah, brings it brings together. It can be different yeah. languages, different ages. It's little information. We haven't put loads of um, mental health banners to it, because again, around the stigma of it, yeah. sometimes if you go, mental health, are you this, are you that, it can actually scare people off because people want to hide away from that as well. So we just put it as like, don't be on your Todd. Little things like that, just come down and play. I know you spoke to a kid. Yeah. Simple branding. Kind yeah, simple, of. Simple, branding. simple words that actually mean a lot that, that aren't too intrusive, you know, and, and kind of play on your mind. Um, yeah, yeah. That was one of the things, yeah. wasn't it, in the whole... We spoke about that at the yeah. beginning, haven't we, about yeah, yeah, how yeah. to wear that, you see? Because it, it will scare certain people off, and this is more of, like, prevention as well, isn't it? 
because people don't understand, you know, he, yeah, I'm lonely and stuff like that. I know he spoke to Kyle earlier on, but he's, you know, he mentioned he just was here one day with his brother and he was, see what was going on, spoke, he went, it's not going to be too heavy though, is it? No, mate, come and join in. And obviously he come once and the next thing, over the next four weeks, he's brought 10 different people. Yeah. Uh, people that haven't played football, people, you know, and coming back here for me is, this is what you wanted from the beginning. This is where the football led to here. This is where people start opening up because we've been quite honest with our stories. You know, um, I still get. I tell people I'm in hospital, I'm in a psychiatric hospital, and they're like, "What? I thought you was a paid member." No, no. Do you know what I mean? Which again, it's that. What's it look like? You know, like I said, I always said my story is, "Am I meant to run around with a ball going like that?" Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what's it look like. Um, so then the little bits come out, people start opening up and obviously being here in a, in a great surroundings, some great staff who make us feel so welcome and um, warm and it's, 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 it's a family and I, I will go as far and I keep saying this, it's this guy here, do, do you know what I mean? I, I don't think sometimes he realises what he's given the community because there's nothing like this, that's why we're getting people travelling so far and wide, I just wish there was more. Yeah, so so for us, obviously, Blocks United's grown organically um, over the almost a year now, isn't it? I mean, uh, kind of eight months, um, and it's just one of those things that we're just heavily involved in, fully supportive, um, and we just love seeing the guys thrive, seeing them turning up on a Thursday night, smiling, having some uh, some free, you know, some some grub and a drink and a chat, and it's just priceless um, for us. And to see it, I mean, you know, we see it every Thursday, and it's just it means a lot to everybody. Every member of staff here is involved in and invested in it, so um, it's just fantastic. So, yeah. yeah, I just want to say, Ken, you know, it's some people can't afford. Like I say, the two pound we charge. If I've got two pound, don't pay it. There's no like he, he owes this. I know, I know we've got yeah. an administrator that runs around after everyone and stuff like <laughs> that. But that's his role in it and stuff like that. So he gets some of his part of the team. Uh, if I've got two pound, there's no pressure on that because it's their money, mm. not our money. The two pound pays for the balls. It pays for itself. If I want to do something, you know, we've got a few people now going. If there's another session, can we volunteer? Yeah. We've got an area here. Yeah. We've got an area here. I'm from a. I've heard. I'm from a council estate. I was on an Asbo, and the kids on the street corners. Is there anything we can do? So you're thinking of all these things and thinking, might we'll see us one step at a time. But we've got some big plans. Let's hope we can. Uh, someone's made a difference. Let's then keep passing that on. That's how it. That's how it should be. So obviously we're investing heavily in some kit for them going forward now. So we've just invested um, for them. You know, we're going to provide everybody with their own bespoke kit um, to, to kind of take it one step further and really put them out there. They came back with a trophy uh, last week for me and gave me a trophy that they'd won and said it was for me. Well, I felt a bit overwhelmed to be fair because it's their trophy, you know what I mean? And, and you know, all the guys kind of brought it back for me. So it was, uh, it's just something to give them back. Um, and just to make them proud when they're out there playing across the country, um, that they have got full support of us as a company behind them, um, and you know we'll be there for them. That's so, that's, that's that's the next level because yeah. this, the pride of people being down here and being part of that, and you know I've just as you was talking earlier on, there was some guy just said, oh, "I ain't seen you for years. Where you been? We've just been to football, blokes United. Oh, what's up then? Why do you get yourself down? You know this is how it's working all the time, and." Um, when these kits come, you know, you know, it, you know it's like getting a certificate when you're five and you've got that certificate face, haven't you? And, and, and that's how it's going to be because, like I say, there's some lads who are playing in the jeans still and we've had a bit of a short pull and a bit of trainers and stuff like that, but that's the next level. Do you know what I mean? Some people have never put a kit on before, some people have never been part of something before, and here, you're just part, aren't you? This is, this is, this is at home. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Thursday night, it's people are talking, Monday, camp. Down. It feels like Christmas again, being yeah. a child. Butler's arms. Butler's arms. I think, yeah, and I, think, I think the thing is as well with it, I think it's it's about obviously making everybody feel inclusive. And one thing that the kit will bring to that is that everybody will be equal in what they're wearing, yeah. what they've got on. So everybody has the same, there's nobody in jeans. And so everybody will can become, you know, turn up equal on that pitch and really, as you saw tonight, kind of smash it out really. It was a cracking little, uh, little game. Yeah. 
So we've had conversations over doing stuff like that about you know another night and stuff like that, expanding it. Um, but also on the back of that, we've also got one of the the guys down tonight that's actually going to be playing the next level up. He's we've yeah. been encouraged to kind of. Um, Take that step and actually play. Yeah, yeah um, level. it's one below the northwest camp. Is I've had a word with somebody. He's good enough. He's very good, but this this is where he is, and it's like progressing him as a footballer and possibly a career in that because he's, he's good enough. You see him play tonight. He's very good, and so you've got that level. We've got some lads who we're getting on some FA level one. We've got some lads who are going on, um, and a, a lass who come down tonight with a partner. We're doing the uh, mental health first aid. So again, people uh, getting them an understanding, getting them feed, understanding what you meant to say, because there's only one or two of well, me and Paul volunteering. So something going on the pitch and stuff like that it might be sound like I'm just going scatty and running about. But you're listening. You know what's going on. You know it's a change in somebody. Someone might need to talk, you know, and you know you've got to seize that opportunity and signposting, doing the right things to protect yourself uh, and make sure it's the right thing for them. And um, there's plenty of things now where, because football is the biggest sport, we're talking about blokes. It's it's a couple of nights a week, but then it's a weekend. What happens on a weekend is the same as the night time, and then make make it into a social group, and then maybe bring it into families. These are all the things that are getting banded around. Can we do this? Can we do that? Can we do this? The lads with the FA level ones wanted to start doing kids on street corners. Do you know what I mean? We've got this big big thing in this in this country now of locking gates. Kids get off there, you can't play on there. Kids playing football when they're playing on corners. And then they're going, playing on corners, the vandals. You know, it's like supporting all these things. That all, and these coming from this background, or what about this area? So that that's the vision. We've also got the summer ball coming up, haven't we? Yeah. Which is a support. spin off of uh, creative support. Um, who were involved in the early stages, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they were. Um, yeah. So we've got the summer ball in August, is it? Yeah. Mid August, about 100 people turn up for that. So the guys included. So we're putting a big, we're putting a bit of a subsidised do on for them. Um, and there's about 100 people. So a bit of a kind of end of summer party, just to kind of celebrate what how far they've come and how far they, they're going to go, really. So yeah. another Christmas day. Yeah. In the summer. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously you met a couple of lasses tonight as well. Uh, we do a social inclusion session during the day at the brick, but some of them people have progressed and they've got jobs. And we tried a couple of sessions, um, so we just can't afford it. Do you know it's got a, so it's there or thereabouts, but that's another thing. The girls united, you know, young mums, and so it's going out. What we did at the beginning was all we did was say we're going to do this. We've got the posters, get ready for this. Spent three months doing that, four months doing that, and that's where we're at with the girls. Now we're just getting a bit of interest. And obviously, you know, then it's families then, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's everybody because, yeah, football's great, but it's not about the football really, is it? Do you know what I mean? Take that out. Yeah, yeah, that's just bringing people in, isn't it? And uh, yeah, so hopefully, you know, about sounding all cheesy, the future's bright. I'm open. Yeah.